Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, we're going to take a look at that three degree guarantee for the day today because it is warmer than ye the yesterday. Certainly, I thought we'd hit 83. We did hit 84 degrees for that high temperature today. And tomorrow we'll pop it up into the low 90s. So the heat is on. Let's take a look now. The high temperatures across the rest of the region today <clears throat> 83 in Boise, but only 67 in Spokane. It remains chilly up in northern Idaho. Had a lot of rain up here in Moscow yesterday, but it has warmed up a little bit. Still below average. Still a lot of heat down to the south. We're warming up in Portland and Roseburg. And tomorrow the heat will We'll just come straight from south to north and what we see in Salt Lake City those upper 80s to low 90s are going to be tracking in our direction 97 in Denver today again we had some showers and storms near the fire but unfortunately that just causes a lot of erratic winds there has been a little light rain falling around that region I'll show you that coming up here in a bit first of all the Boise Valley Asthma and Allergy Clinic with their pollen count today pollen only at 21 so the count is low grass and pine not a real major issue there here's my Valley County Central Mountain forecast for the upcoming weekend if you get camping plans some outdoor plans this weekend nice day on Friday a few clouds around mid 70s up to 81 on Saturday, just a beautiful day on Payette Lake coming up Saturday, and these percentages probably only 10%, if that, on Saturday. 40% chance of some showers on Sunday. You may wake up in the morning with a chance of some rain, and a couple of thunderstorms could pop up as well. We'll be around 74 for that high temperature during the day on Sunday, but still a pretty decent weekend, although uh, Saturday looking better than the day on Sunday. So high clouds, we had them all across Yada County today, but I'm telling you, this is the only place. Take a look. Well, it did stretch over to Sun Valley, but this one little thin band of clouds, it's been tracking to the north. Now clearer skies coming in. As you can see, it is dry in most all other locations. We're going to take a look now. Central Colorado, here it is. This is Denver. We've had a band of showers and storms form today. Unfortunately, erratic winds right around Colorado Springs. We'll take a close inspection to show you where that fire is. This is the Waldo Canyon fire right in here. And I saw a tweet a little while ago that said a little light rain was falling there. That's good. It helps every bit, but we could use one shower to go right over the top of that fire, right along the front line of those fires to help it out. Otherwise, you just get some gusty winds, and this will be reforming as we move through the next few days, unfortunately. A future cast through tomorrow with the clear sky into Friday. We're talking mostly sunny skies, a couple of clouds around Saturday, more sunshine. Here it is with the clouds staying to the north, and so the heat is on for tomorrow. Very warm conditions coming in straight from south to north, and it's going to stay that way for a little while into the weekend. Jet stream is to the north, but on Sunday, a little energy coming by will cool us down just a little bit. So my Treasure Valley on your side forecast for tomorrow. Hotter tomorrow, 92 to 95, although Evan around 90, 93 in Boise, 91 in Meridian. Lots of sunshine and light winds around Beautiful in McCall at 39 in the morning, but 78 with sunshine of the afternoon. Idaho City hits 89. Look at Stanley freezing in the morning. 81 in the afternoon with sunshine. Beautiful weather in the Central Mountains tomorrow. 92 in Twin tomorrow. My on your side extended forecast. The low 90s tomorrow. Get a little bit of a drop in temperature on Friday. Still in the upper 80s. Over the weekend, Saturday, the hotter of the two weekend days with sunshine. Tomorrow and Saturday will be very much alike. Sunday a little bit cooler with some clouds around. And that's the 4th of July forecast there on the last day. And it shows week, typical hot summer weather. Dry throughout the West. I mean, this is a big, really big dry. problem. It's a big problem in the Intermountain West because it, I don't see much relief outside of a few thunderstorms. That's <laughs> it. Okay, so don't play with fire. Instead, no. a reminder to join us in Ann Morrison Park for Boise's 4th of July fireworks celebration. The fireworks and all that great action is going to kick off at 1015. But get there early. All the good spots fill up. We know that. And if you can't make it in person, watch our exclusive live simulcast of the fireworks with the music from 107.1 K Hits right here on a special edition of Today's Six.